don't need to introduce myself. <laughs> Masya Allah. <laughs> this is uh, a very, my, very long list. <laughs> this is uh, my entrepreneurship message to the world, and including I also as a, I think on the last uh, November talking also in Pakistan. But after 2019, all is online. It is. So this is before in 2019. <laughs> so uh, 2020, all is online. Okay, we start with the battery, the model now. So, uh, as Ibu Sri also uh, already uh, mentioned and already talking about this, the pandemic has accelerated the process of digital transformation across almost all sectors. As the world slowly but steadily shifts to the recovery stage, We've also seen that the pandemic has brought on changes to consumer behavior that are likely to stay for good. The question then for us as an entrepreneur, uh, the question then becomes how we can empower entrepreneurs to leverage digital tools and innovations while navigating the pandemic. So this question will be answered by the, uh, my next uh, uh, slide. And then uh, what opportunities <coughs> should entrepreneurs tune in to recovery post-COVID-19 to adapt to the new consumer behavior using digital tools. So this is uh, for, for uh, emphasize for us as entrepreneurs. So now we are uh, coming to what's called the idiom, the stay at home economy, because a long-term work from home, so including in Indonesia, before like a PSBB only one week, but now it's uh, for longer and longer. So long-term work from home is now is uh, maybe not only in last year, but this year, I think until December, maybe this is still happening. Then also increases virtual services like us uh, with Zoom like this. Then the emergence of e-commerce, of course, in local focus. Because why local focus? Because uh, not like before, like imported imported product, it will be difficult. This is uh, this is have a pros and also cons, yeah, for the local focus. Then the sustainability. So while uh, we are focusing on pandemic, but we, we will remember that we have a goal yeah, in uh, 2030, 2030 is the SDGs to be achieved. So this is the trend for now, stay at home economy. Let's dig deeper. I have a uh, Indonesian consumer yeah, sentiment during the coronavirus crisis uh, from the McKinsey in November, 2020. But uh, I think this is also can be uh, happen in other countries as well. So uh, we have seen five fundamental here: the uh, shift to consumer behavior, some of which will have a last lasting impact as a result of the pandemic. Number one is the shift to value and essential. Then uh, up to forty percent net decrease in intent to spend spend on most discretionary categories. Then, sorry. now is a flight to digital and omnichannel. You can see here. And the uh, number three is a shock to loyalty. So at the first, uh, Indonesia is very shocked because like uh, buying online or everything with online is never, uh, they not uh, adapt it uh, very well. But uh, when we have uh, COVID, it's shock, yeah. So we cannot go anywhere. So. We should, we should buy from online. But now, yeah, now is uh, looks like it's loyalty. So, so from the shock, shock to loyalty. Now 92% of Indonesian customers have tried a new shopping behavior in the past three months. Then number four is a home body economy. Because uh, like we said before, we cannot go out, so 78% of Indonesian consumers are not yet resuming normal out of home activity. Then uh, new holiday, yeah. we have no holiday in the 
in just at home like uh, last year uh, actually before me and my family going uh, abroad for the new year but this year is not it's just uh, in at home and i think this is also happened in many families okay this is uh, quite interesting so depend uh, if we compare with other country Indonesian confidence in the country's economic recovery is among the highest in the world. You can see here, uh, if we compare with Japan or we compare with uh, uh, even Italy, we have 53 optimistic. Uh, the economy will rebound within two, three months and grow just as strong as or stronger than before COVID-19. So the confidence is uh, quite good. The pessimistic only eight uh, percent here you can see, and the answer is eighty-eight uh, percent. And then more than sixty percent of Indonesian have seen reduction in income and savings, yet around fifty percent have interest spending. This is also interesting. So while uh, anybody uh, have a reduction in income, 50% interest spending. I'm so sorry, uh, sorry Ibu, I should uh, <laughs> silent the alarm. Wait, wait. So I think because uh, Miss Tia has a problem with the alarm, so she tried to <laughs> To figure it out, so we're still waiting for Miss Yeah. Uh, so that's why we we are wondering what actually sounds is that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Miss sorry. Yeah, that's, okay. okay. That's that's fine, Miss Yeah. The alarm. <laughs> the alarm. <laughs> All right. Okay. So this also quite interesting. While more than sixty percent of Indonesians have seen reduction in income, but fifty percent have increased spending. And also Indonesians are becoming more mindful of how they spend their money and increasingly looking for ways to save. You can see here. Why I bring this data? Because uh, when entrepreneur is uh, want to do something, it must be based on the data. So uh, while we know all the data, so when we are planning to have, uh, uh, my, my business is uh, where should we go to the business? So we know uh, better in uh, this era, post COVID-19 or still COVID-19 with this data. So becoming more mindful where I spend my money is 62%. You can see here, ah, this is the the intent for discretionary spending remains low as Indonesian prioritize essential, such as groceries and household supplies. So I think no more like uh, the fashion is even fashion here. You can see here. Yeah. Decrease is uh, for accessories, decrease for about 59%. Yeah. In this area, groceries is increased forty three percent. Snack also increased thirty uh, thirty thirty one percent. So if you uh, want to have a business in snack, this is also good, still good yeah, because this is increasing. But for uh, fashion, this is uh, I think not in the right time. You can see here and the vitamin and also uh, supplement. Uh, increase forty nine percent, yeah. You can see also in the advertisement in the television how vitamin and supplement now is a very very uh, many many variants. Then more people expect to make a portion of their purchase online post COVID nineteen than before. So this is uh, like over the counter medicine. They are going online, yeah. And consumer use of online channel before and expected use after COVID-19. So this is the, the percentage of respondent purchasing online. 
snacks snacks before not uh, online but now it's increasing also books you can see here etc and with many consumer planning to shift almost completely online so now they think uh, buying online is more convenient than they go to the store itself this is you can see the the highest one is entertainment at home yeah like game online etc here it's very high Indonesia have intensified the usage of the restaurant and the grocery delivery and intend to continue these habits post COVID-19. So uh, as we know that uh, many restaurants also should be closed because uh, not allowed crowded there. So uh, they, they save or they switch the, the delivery uh, or the distribution by online. So restaurant delivery is increasing very much here. 42% for the restaurant in the grocery, etc. Many Indonesians intend to continue their food delivery and online shopping habit even after the crisis is over. So in this data, this is a work for now, and this is the accelerated, accelerated step you can see here. Ah, nine of ten Indonesians have tried a new shopping behavior and most intend to continue their new habits beyond the crisis. So for the newcomer, for in the digital, uh, new digital shopping method, you can see the increase in is a fifty-six percent, yeah, and intend to continue eighty-eight percent. 92% consumers have tried a new shopping behavior. It is uh, quite high. The, the, uh, the number is quite high, the percentage. Okay. More than 60% of Indonesian consumer city value and convenience as driver for trying new places to shop. So now value and convenience, it is a driver for trying new places to shop like this. Yeah. Because uh, the income is uh, the income is less, so they should be careful to choose whatever they want to uh, to buy. So now its value is increasing. So people buy not only uh, functional but also as a valuable product. Also, uh, they consider also about the health and hygiene here. Availability, of course, convenience, more easily accessible from my home. So if you are in uh, Semarang, maybe you should have a stock in stockist in Jakarta, maybe because this is uh, more uh, easily accessible from Jakarta. This. More than 75% 70, uh, 70 of consumers who tried a new brand side value as a driver. Better price and promotion. You can see the consideration is also the, the price. So better price and promotion, better value, better shipping, and larger package size. This is uh, quite high as 78% for the value. So this is all is included in value. Okay. Consumers are paying increased attention to healthy and hygienic packaging. So uh, you can see by uh, yourself, I, I don't need to explain more here. Consumers are much more, much more likely to trade down to less expensive brands this year than last year. That's why if you see like uh, in the Facebook, many uh, high brand is selling the product in the Facebook now. And also with the discount price, I see many uh, many branded uh, bag or many branded uh, shoes also sell like this. Few Indonesians are engaging in normal out of home activities as they wait for indicators beyond lifting or of government restriction. Before we have like a musical uh, concert, 
and something like that. But now, of course, they cannot. So, and and actually, they afraid. Yeah, afraid to going to the crowd. That's why they wait for indicators. Uh, they waiting for the vaccine, and uh, beyond lifting of government restriction. Yeah, most Indonesians are concerned about attending large events using public transportation and traveling by airplane. So they wait for this. <clears throat> okay. I think uh, we can share this uh, presentation to the participant, right, Ibu Sri? Yes. Yeah, so, so they can uh -huh. see by the chat later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this is a very interesting data. And uh, these Indonesian are most eager to get together with family, visit a crowded sure. outdoor public place, but outdoor, yeah, and go out for family entertainment. So now uh, family is become uh, number one. And I also want to share the, the trend small business in ICSB for 2021 is a family business. This number 10 trend of uh, ICSB small business because uh, maybe they are work, work from home and also uh, the, the school is uh, online. So the time to, with the family is uh, very high. So they think uh, what we can do for survive in this era. So that's why a family business is increases too. Indonesian have acquired at home alternative to out of home activities such as remote learning and video conferencing like this. So online streaming, then uh, game online also increasing. Yeah. TikTok, you can see it, but TikTok still not much in here. Playing online games. Quite a lot. Uh, video, uh, video conferencing. So the COVID-19 crisis has accelerated the adoption of at-home alternatives, many of which are likely to remain long term. So uh, like not only uh, game online, but decoration for home also increasing because we are stay at home. So uh, people want to decorate home more nicely because they are now uh, stay at home is a lot than before. Okay. This one, so I, I skip, skip this. Okay. So what? After we know all the data, now is so what for us? What is the conclusion and what is in it for the entrepreneurs? As we know that entrepreneurs, uh, this is this uh, term of entrepreneur and how to be a good entrepreneur will be uh, deeply we learn from Dr. Shahid Qureshi after me. So entrepreneurs is an individual who creates a new business, bearing most of the risk and enjoying most of the reward. The entrepreneur is commonly seen as an innovator a source of new ideas, goods, services, and business. So, looking at the situation, I think for entrepreneurs, they not they cannot just sit and see, but they should uh, looking for the way how to uh, continuing life and how to uh, have an impact to the society. That's entrepreneur. And the entrepreneur is a starter. Uh, entrepreneurs is initiator, challenger, and driver. Someone that creates something new, either an initiative, a business, or a company. So uh, entrepreneur is a starter. Then the entrepreneur is the driver. The entrepreneur is the person in charge, the leader, and the person to look for the leadership. He or she is the one that pushes forward and inspires a team to follow. Number three is the entrepreneur is accountable and responsible. The entrepreneur is the ultimate responsible for the destiny of its venture, which can be a company, a project, or any other endeavor. How many of you here is already have a business or as an entrepreneur? How many, Ibu Sri? Is a lot? 
Uh, I think <laughs> myself. I also have uh, my small business. <laughs> okay, that's uh, so it's epic. Uh, but uh, for the participants, for the participants, uh, I have no idea how mm-hmm. many of them already have okay. their own business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we will uh, prepare them to be a good entrepreneur. Okay. okay. So uh, after we see the data and after we, we know uh, who is the entrepreneur, so this is a business strategy post-COVID-19. Those who already have an enterprise themselves, they should review the business model, business plan, and also the strategy. Like if, if maybe you have a offline business before, uh, I already show you the data. So now you must review again your business model and also your strategy. The number two is retargeting your target market because a customer uh, consumer behavior now is changed. Maybe before you targeting is the in the area or five kilometers uh, around surrounding you but now because of online you can target to uh, to another city maybe or to another country maybe so retargeting your target market then boost your digital infrastructure to keep or raise your branding awareness most people uh, most uh, people say that okay now is uh, not good condition so i just wait uh, wait and see this is wrong you should now is uh, your brand should be become a top of mind to the customer that you are concerned to the healthy you are concerned to the to the safeness uh, you are co- you are empathized to the situation so when this pandemic is uh, over your brand is still uh, keep remind by them so uh, Boost your digital infrastructure to keep and raise your branding awareness. The number four is a be agile, flexible, and fast. So usually the business plan for three to five years. Yeah. Usually if we make a business plan is for three to two to five years. But now we cannot. Maybe uh, we have a goals in one year, but we should... Uh, keep on track and evaluate uh, whether per month or per, per three months. So if any change, so you can uh, switch or you can uh, have, a, uh, have another strategy. So be agile uh, and flexible. But you, you should, of course, you, sh- you should still have a goal at least for, for one year. Then number five is uh, I recommend that you have a mentor or a business advisor to keep you alert and support you. Because with the mentor, uh, you can speed up the process of the business. This, this one is uh, I make on the March, last March, yeah, last year, when many of uh, SME is uh, in, what, in the nervous situation and shock also, why, why this happened? <laughs> So I make this a marketing in crisis. So uh, this is also acronym for DIAH. Discover new opportunity and new experience. Uh, when I make this, the research from McKinsey is still not coming because the research on November 2020. So I make this on the 25th of March 2020. So number one is discover new opportunity, new experience because of the changes. Then number two is uh, innovation become product substitution. Because, because uh, like, like we usually have uh, raw material import, but now cannot. So should be innovation to become product substitution. We should uh, looking or take a look which product can be a substitute for our. Number three is active listening to the market because there are any changes there. And then number four is the human interest. So how we are empathized to the situation is also uh, good for our communication as a company to the, the, uh, to the consumer. So 
to discuss discover innovation active and human interest and this i got from uh, my my guru my teacher pak hermawan kartajaya uh, this is a five magic words of 2021 machine is cool but human is warm so how now the technology not only think about the machine but the humanity in technology so this is a five magic word of 2021 digital then but human so we should uh, have our empathy love and warm and this is quite uh, good to to play by uh, sme yeah then the local global and balance Uh, this is uh, technology for humanity. So now not only technology, but how technology is to support the humanity. This is from uh, Philip Kotler and also Pak Hermawan. This is also a good uh, book. And then uh, this is, I think, the, the last uh, my presentation. So what next? What should we do after this? After uh, all of you is look at the data, and look at the trend, so what next? What should we do? So uh, this is my advice, is uh, be ready and make, make a continuous improvement. Yeah, so number one is sharpen the soul, sharpen your competence. We are, uh, we have many resources, but if we are not competent, so we cannot uh, go with the, the resource. And then number two is a growing mindset. You cannot see it is what it is, but as an entrepreneur, we should uh, look further, look far, look beyond. What should what should we do for the impact? And number three is a leadership development. This is also will uh, deeply shared by Dr. Kureshi later about leadership. And number four is a collaboration and synergizing, not only in the local, but also going to abroad. And this is the last, design your purpose, winning your life and winning your future. So this is for a digital entrepreneur now. We uh, recommend you to do this. And this, I also uh, always remind for the, especially for the startup, or for the early business because we have a li limited capital so limited capital strategy for running business is like this a start small start now and start right usually uh, people is forget the last one is start right because they just start small and start now so if you don't uh, have a start right so it will be difficult to uh, in the future yeah, because i found many business now is uh, they are confusing but when i see they don't have the when when they start they not start right they just start small and start now okay that's it thank you we will uh, discuss after this thank you okay Thank you, Ms. Tia, for your very informative and interesting talk. Uh, like mentioned by Ms. Tia, it is indeed a current business situation that people now convenience to shop online, including even in entertainment, uh, inter entertainment sector. And according to a survey, many Indonesians intend to remain the same if, even after COVID-19. And... Um, Ms. Tia also provide us uh, data of consumer behavior in Indonesia. And I think the changes are also happening now, not only in Indonesia, but also other countries. And uh, we can say that uh, business need to be aware and take some actions as the strategy during pandemic and also uh, strategy to recover after the pandemic. Be ready and make a continuous improvement. It's uh, a key uh, to survive during the pandemic and also uh, recover after the pandemic. Okay, thank you very much. And we can give an applause to Ms. Tia for a very interesting talks today. And I would like to remind all the participants, all the participants that you can ask questions by submit 
in the chat box and we will accommodate your questions uh, at the end of the presentation, after the presentation. And, and now we are going to have our second presenter, Dr. Shahid Kuresh. And Dr. Shahid Kuresh, time is yours now. You can present <clears throat> your presentation. Okay, great. Uh, my dear sister, uh, Sulis, uh -huh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa what a great. What a great opportunity to meet and interact with my friends and brothers and sisters, these young people uh, in Indonesia. Wow. And many other countries, not only oh, Indonesia. Is it? Yes, it's wow. from Brunei Darussalam, from Malaysia. Great. From, from Bangladesh. So we have. Is it? Uh, Yes, exactly. Wow. So not only in then, Indonesia. Great. I could have done a very interesting exercise. Well, how much time do we have, uh, Sister Solis? About 40 minutes, I think. Oh, great. Now. So let me share my screen. My dear students, I would like you to be charged up. And I would like you to be, I would request people to switch on their cameras if possible, because we would like to try to be interactive. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Can you hear me, Dia? Uh, is it is it okay? Can you hear me? Yes, yeah, good, good. Okay, so my dear students and participants, we'll be talking about the entrepreneurial mindset. You see this? You see this eagle? This is eagle. Eagle is a very interesting <laughs> bird. Very interesting bird. And so. There's a national poet of Pakistan. He talks about he talks about eagle as a symbol of entrepreneurship. And so today we'll be talking about critical thinking, problem solving, and leadership. And I must I'm amazed to see Sultan Ragung Islamic University. Wow, and the video was amazing. <laughs> I wish I just joined that and become a student there. Mashallah, it's amazing. Next time, next time, inshallah. Next I time, want to be a student here. So I've been traveling from like 18 hours from Karachi to this wonderful, this is a seaport city, is it? Your university is near the coast. Yeah, near the coast, yeah, correct. So I <laughs> Just spent, next to the coast. I spent two years of my life. I studied my master's in, in 92, 93. In, in Asian Institute of Technology, Bangkok. And there were many Indonesians in my class in 92, 93. Later on, I did a lot of presentations in Malaysia. I presented my papers in China. And I did my, I, I, did, I was raised in the United States. I did my engineering from Pakistan, did my MBA. I did my PhD from Germany. So I have been to this part, but I could not go beyond this. So that was the final. So today we are crossing this line and Alhamdulillah, uh, coming to this place. Wow, superb. Mashallah. So today my discussion, my dear students and participants is that we are facing two major challenges with education. The one challenge is that the carriers, these carriers, what do we mean by a word carrier? Carrier means a job where you can stay for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, where you spend all of your life, you get pen, you get retirement packages, you get a lot of money, a company car. So this change has changed. Today's education is, is losing relevance. Today's education is losing relevance. Why is it losing? Because we are moving away from carriers to jobs and jobs to tasks. Task carried is long term, like 10 to 30 years in a company. Jobs mean after 1990, what happened? After 2000, what happened? We moved into era of jobs, contract jobs. Most of the jobs in the world, they moved towards contracts, four years, five years, two years, six years. And then after 2010 and then 2020, and now after COVID, we have moved towards the task economy. Another name for this is, this is called the task economy. 
we, another name is called the gig economy. Gig. Gig means small, small skills. So now we are living in an area where we have living in the gig economy. So we will be talking today quickly what is happening. And the second issue is, which is, we, I can see pictures in, behind the uh, Yusuf. These are the sustainable development goals. Our education has to be, has to be teaching towards sustainability. Our, so let's look at this quickly. So my dear friends, carriers, jobs and tasks. And let's look at this quickly. This is one of my friend, uh, one of the person in the United States. He's written a book called The Vanishing American Corporation. Well, we met him in a conference in Canada in 2017. And this is the book. And he says, the large corporations are vanishing. So big companies are not going to stay that much. So we need to, so the carriers, the carriers are going to finish and diminish. They're going to be minimal. They're going to be minimal. Why? Because of IT, because of the entrepreneurial mindset. It is expensive for large firms to give so much money to its employees, like health insurance. And many industries need temporary and contract labor. So that is why this thing is going to, so universities and colleges and business schools, they need to prepare people for this and for this as well. Let's go next. So this is quick one. So 40s to 90s, we had long-term jobs, carrier paths, compensation, car, fuel, pension, gratuity, gratuity job descriptions, 2000, three, five years contracts, no pension, flexible job descriptions. You have to be flexible in your jobs. Very less promotions, less bonus. And after 2020, what is happening is, 2010 in particularly, no pension, no, very flexible, very flexible, multiple skills. They need a lot of creativity, ingenuity, and you have to be your own boss. So this is very short term. This is an interesting change which has happened. So there are a lot of examples happening in all over the world. These are some examples, like I can quickly tell in, in our part of the world, India and Pakistan, we had Unilever, Procter & Gamble, Shell, Courier Services, Government Jobs, Railway, Steel Mill, Civil Services, Armed Forces. So only these people are hiring now. All these people are hiring very less, very less people. Then we moved into jobs. So jobs of today are contract jobs. Today, the tasks, the gig economy, Airbnb, Uberization, freelancing and coaching and teaching and hobbies, pursuing hobbies, online consulting, online businesses. So this is a tremendous change which has taken place. What do we, know, what do we need to do that? What do we need to do? What do we need to do to live in this world? So as the talk said that we need to be engaged in critical thinking and we need to be innovative, creative in this digital era. So what we need to do is, first of all, we need to understand in this cartoon. In this cartoon, can anybody tell me, I can, can, can I ask someone, can I ask, um, can I ask Noor Layla, can you speak English? Uh, if the team is Layla, can you switch on your mic? And Noor Layli, Regita Asari. There's a teacher here on this side, and he's saying, Anybody who climbs the tree first, anybody who climbs the tree first will get the A grade. Who will get the A grade? Who will get the A grade? Noor Lely, can you tell? Noor Lely, Rekita Sari. Noor Lely. you can tell. So I will be asking questions. Please be alert. We don't want it. We want interactive yeah. sessions, alive <laughs> people. It's very interactive. Who is going to go, who is going to climb the tree first, reach the tree first? I hope this one, the monkey. Uh, of course, the monkey, yes. So if I, the monkey will get an A grade. The monkey will get an A grade. What about the elephant? Fish, the fish. B grade. The elephant's too big. And what about the dog? 
ए माइनस में भी और बी प्लस एंड व्हाट अबाउट द पेंगुइन बी बी माइनस एंड व्हाट अबाउट द फिश ए प्लस एफ एफ and there's somebody else in this picture there's somebody else the bird the bird the bird the, bird. the left one so the bird will get a star a star <laughs> it's p on a <laughs> so my dear friends what is the problem with this game is this a good game no no, no it's not fair, fair. It's, it's not, not fair. a fair game fair. it is not fair it's it not is fair. not fair because the monkey and the crow will always win the monkey and crow will always win so this professor sitting on this right side with me maybe he forgot there's a problem with this that he forgot that there are people in the class who cannot be compared they can can we compare a fish with the elephant in indonesia can we compare the fish with the penguin they're not comparable is this happening in our universities those yes. people who speak a lot <laughs> who do a lot of who speak a lot who are sharp like the crow and the monkey they can get high grades so janna janna you want to be part of this class would you like to be part of this class no not at all nobody would like to be part of this class because the professor is biased towards this these people will always win and these people will always do so my dear friends and this model is being taught all over the world for the past 100 years for the past 100 years this is what we are doing in universities so what happens is if you look into this picture how many people are happy in this picture Uh, can you please uh, very parasati how many people are happy in this picture only one only one person is happy he got 99 out of 100 and he got 98.5 and he got 98.3 why are they why are they unhappy shashilia shashilia yes shashilia yes sir why is only one person happy they're so close they're so close they should be happy he's sad he's angry because they have a different age i think oh they're comparing they compare they're with comparing. others they compare and when they compare even a point one mark makes makes them feel bad you know in my pakistan when the, when the results are announced even if a boy or a girl gets straight a's he gets three a's or four a's and one b and the mother will say hey you should have got this a as well so we are all worried towards grades and comparing let's look at this picture so noor safinas noor safinas what is what is happening here what is the difference here everyone is on the same standard everyone is happy ahmed fanani mashallah ahmed fanani what is happening here what is happening here all people are happy all people are happy and what else can you see in this picture uh because they stop compare they stop comparing yeah okay and everybody is a winner everyone is number 1 everyone yeah. is number 1 yes can you can have you seen a class like this in which everyone gets a grade does that happen in indonesia can everybody in the class can get a grade in indonesia hajar why do they get a grade everyone and you see there are young people black people indian muslims indonesian girl ladies also there mashallah dia yusuf you are also there huh? indonesian malaysian people are there 
and they're Africans, Americans, and Buddhists from Thailand, young people, babies, old people. Have you seen a class where there are people? Have you seen a class where you can go and attend and where you can see your grandfather or, or son? <laughs> Angel, you're from Philippines? Angel, Angel, you're from Philippines? Angel? Yeah, you're from Philippines? Yes. Do you have such classes in Philippines where you can go with your grand, grandpa and grandma to study? No, I think. And you can get the same grade? You know, let me tell you, my dear students, everyone is happy and everyone is number one because everyone has his own race. Own race. Like 20 years ago, Magitha Sitra, like 20 years ago, when my son, his name is Hamza, and he was studying in school, and in the school there was a race. The students had to run. And in the race, all students were, were reached the deadline before, and my son was towards the end. He was a weak boy, and he was running and running slowly, and he reached the finishing line in the last. Mutiara, you know what happened? I asked Hamza, I asked Engel and, and, and Joanna, I asked Hamza, Hamza, run fast, you are losing. You know what he said to me, Arthur? When he reached the finishing line, he said to me, Dad, they won first. They won first, and I won last. I learned from a three third class student. Oh my God. Why are we always comparing? He, they won first, and I won last. I did my job in a different way. This is my way of doing things. I have my own race. Don't compare with me, me with others. If you cannot compare a monkey with a bird, if you cannot compare a monkey with a penguin or an elephant, then every human being in this world is different. You see this machine? This is a machine. Arthur, what is happening in this machine? People are coming in. People yeah. are coming in, and what is happening in this machine? Uh, they become a follower, I guess. A they become a worker. I mean, standardized people. Standardized. They are become slaves. They become robots. They become robots. Dia and these people are on the machine. They after spending four years. Sometimes this machine takes four years. Sometimes this machine takes two years. In United States, they charge like $80,000 to go through this machine. You need to give $80,000 to go through this machine. In Pakistan, we have many, many people, they charge like $40,000, $20,000. My university charges $10,000 from people to go through this machine. And after four years, Diyad, Yudit, you understand what I'm saying? Yudit Amin, yes. do you understand what I'm saying? And yes. after four years, these people are always looking for a job because they're standardized. So the first thing we need to understand in this COVID era and in real life is, that we are not robots. We are not robots. We are not robots. Look at this cartoon I got from United States. This is the farm. Farm. And these are farmers. These are farmers. This is the cartoon of our MBAs. And you, you can see the difference in the dress. Yeah. Yes. Who have a simple dress? They have a costly dress, very costly brands. The face, they have stunned faces, stunned, <laughs> expressionless. Yeah. These people are, are happy. These are an anxiety, anxiety. You know what these people are saying, Nadia Radhan? 
Can you read for me? What is what are the farmers saying, Nadia? Nadia? Yeah, Nadia Radhan, can you unmute? What is written on the bottom? In six more weeks, this MBA is ready for my. What is happening here? The farmers are no. selling these students. Wow. So this cartoon is telling a joke. And this is what is happening in, in all over the world. All over the world. Dropouts are hiring, hiring graduates. People who have entrepreneurial mindset, they're hiring MBAs. People who wear simple dress, people who are creative and innovative, they're doing something amazing. And those people who are worried about grades, you should go for grades, but you need to understand. So you see, nobody's superior. Nobody's superior, nobody's inferior, but nobody's equal either. People are simply unique, incomparable. You are you and I am I. And everyone is unique. Compare not yourself with anyone. Let's look at this. If God wanted us all to be the same, he would have just created one person and made the rest duplicate copies. But no, he made each one of us unique and wonderful. Why try to be someone else? So Joanna, you're awesome. And you're awesome. And Jenna, she's also awesome. Everyone in this world is unique, is unique. There's no one like you. There's no one like you. You are thinking, you're reading, you're understanding, your comprehension is so unique that even your sister or brother cannot be compared. That is one of the great learning which I had to do, which I came across. Each one of us is God's work of art. He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made us. God Almighty made everyone. God is not Toyota. God is not Suzuki. He's not Honda. It is not German company Volkswagen. No, he doesn't. He, Suzuki, how many company, how many variety types of car to, Toyota makes? Maybe 20 or 30, maybe. That's it. There are 8 billion people. Everyone is unique. Everyone is unique. Everyone is unique. Look at this. Do you have this in Philippine? Angle? Or Indonesia? Do you have this in horses? Yes. Yeah, we have. Yes. You have that? We have it. So my dear, my dear participants, my dear participants, this, this is a lens. This lens is given to horses. Why do we give it, Jenna? Why do we put this? Because they uh, want to see the view of the horse. So they want to control the horse. They want to control the horse. So we have a... Uh, Yudit, I mean, Yudit, I mean, mashallah. Yudit, I mean, can you tell me, is this good for the horse? Is this good for the horse? Would you like to have one for you? Alicia Mai? Yes. Would you like to have this for you? No. Why they are putting this on the horse so that the horse becomes obedient? The horse becomes slave. So that's why we put this on the horse, okay? We put this on the horse. And look at this. This student wants to think. This student wants to think this, think this, think this, think this. He wants to think, but the teacher is saying, no, you have to think this way. You have to think my way. You have to think my way. And so they are being forced. Noriza, what is happening here? Look at this picture. There are a lot of students. What are they wearing? What is this?
This is like the horse. Is it? Like the horse and the teacher is saying mathematics coming in, reading coming in, writing coming in. So robots are being made. This girl wants to look out. What is the teacher saying? Norisa, can you read this for me? Read this for me. Uh, come over from the window. Don't want to be a child left behind, do you? So this teacher is saying, hey, come back and read this. Wear this lens and become a good student. You can get a good grade. She is interested in the sun, in the, in the apple. So my dear students, the first thing to learn is, the first thing to learn, the professors and the teachers and the universities, we have to unlearn. We have to unlearn that money is not important. This person, he came to a university and then he started, he, he becomes dependent on crutches. Okay? So we need to unlearn all the whole universities in the world. I'm working with many universities in the United States, in Germany, in Pakistan. And the biggest problem is that we have to, we need new professors, new universities. We need new thinking. Money is not that important. Degree certificates are okay. But a person which comes to a traditional university, and I hope your university is a different university, inshallah. So my dear brothers and sisters, what we do, this is the model which we got the best award in the United States, Leah. And this award says, that, my dear students, you should have a meaning and purpose in your life. You should have a meaning and purpose in your life. You need to understand who you are, who you are, who you are. And you need to understand you should have a purpose of nobility and service and cooperation. You should understand the importance of human beings. And then you should have some values. Perseverance, humility, gratitude, parsimony, forgiveness. And you should have these skills, bird in hand. Uh, and, uh, we have less time today, but I will tell you the importance of bird in hand. Bird in hand means you need to understand who you are, who you are, what you know, whom you know. So what we say to our students, what we say to our students, let me quickly show you, quickly show you what we say to our students. Yes. Develop your bird in hand. During your studies in the university, you should know everyone is unique. There are a lot of variables. You need to understand who you are. You need to understand who you are, who you are. How to know that? Stay close to nature. You should adventure in your life, living in a jungle and mountains and desert and cycling and swimming and walking and fasting, learning la languages, travel, learn various languages, travel, observe, do service, live in less privileged communities, go and stay there for a few days, do experiments. Those who are Muslims, they should read Quran in the life of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and pray and make dua. The Christians can read the life of Jesus. Peace be upon him. And then you look for biographies. These things increase your bird in hand. It increases. I will give you some stories. And then once your bird in hand is strong, my dear friends, you can do smaller things. You can do smaller things. You see, this is a vulture. This is the vulture. A vulture is ugly. A vulture is lazy. A vulture eats dead things. The eagle is eagle is agile. Eagle is is hard working. Eagle is adventurous. Eagle is lean. It is is clean, beautiful. Look at this eagle. It stays. We have a poem in our in our poetry in Urdu, in our language. Guzarokat kar leta hai ye koho beyaba me. 
The eagle can stay and live on the rocks and the deserts. And he doesn't make big houses. So that's why, my friends, the lesson is in the universities, in the universities, we shall prepare ourselves. We call the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang model. The Chitty Chitty Bang Bang model says, when you study in the university, prepare yourself for three things. Prepare yourself for three things. Three things. When I was a small kid in 1974, when I was in class four, there was a movie in the United States. You can Google it, you can YouTube it. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. There was a car which could fly. This car could, could go on water. This car could go on the road. It could do three things. So dear, this is what we are saying to our university students nowadays. You should prepare yourself for three things. All the universities in the world, 90% of the time they spend in preparing the students for large companies. We say no, spend 33% of the time learning how to work for a large corporation, 33% of the time to work, to learn how local companies and SMEs work, and 33% time you learn and make the course content so that they can learn family business, new startups, gigs in the past economy. So this is what we are saying. So, and the last thing, let me show you a quick video. Let me show, I have how many minutes left, my sister? Five minutes are left, 10 minutes? About 10 minutes. Okay, Dr. let okay. me show them a very interesting video. Let me show them an interesting video. And that is, I, I, I will connect in a minute. You will see, Okay, first of all, let me, this is a very interesting concept. This is a very interesting concept. It can change the life of people. And this is who have been working on it for the past 10 years, dear. And Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, when this concept is understood, anybody can start. Class five, class 10, 12, 14, masters, illiterate people, sometimes blind people. So this five minutes, the last 10 minutes are the most important. If you understand this, and then I have a detailed video for one hour, along with an American professor, I can send you the link. I can tell you, my friends, that one hour of watching this can help you do something amazing. This is all the universities in the world have been teaching this for the past 100 years. You know what they teach in universities and medical colleges, engineering colleges, in business schools? They teach, hey, gentlemen, whenever you want to do something, start with a big goal, very big goal, very big. And then once you make a vision, then you make a strategy, vision, then arrange means. M is for means. Means mean money, material, men, women. Collect those. Make a vision, go this way. Make a vision, collect means, and then arrange dollars. And after arranging dollars, then start doing something, start action. As Dia was saying, this model is not working. This model does not work. 95% people who follow fail. There was a lady in India and in, in the United States in 2000, she came up with the other model and she said, hey, this is the wrong thing to do. This only works when you have a lot of money. When you have a lot of money, then this is okay. Otherwise, Indy Francisca, otherwise, if, if you follow this model, maybe $5 is enough. $50 can be enough. 500 can be enough. And after some time, you can do something big. This model is called the entrepreneurial mindset, or we call it effectuation. And this model says, hey, Windy Francisca, can I make your picture if you don't mind? So this is Windy and Francisca. So Francisca is unique. Her passion, her hobby, her family, her sister, brother, her neighbor, class fellows, 
you start to understand who you are. You need to know your bird in hand. What is your bird in hand? What do you know? Whom do you know? Who are you? Based on the means, this theory says that everyone has a lot of means. So Wendy Francisco already has a lot of means. Her idea of making cake and bakery and cooking or designing and making websites. And her family, her neighbor, her relatives, her friends. So you already have that. You don't need money. So start with whatever you have. Keep on doing experiments. Make cakes. Make, make biscuits. Make a website. Do small things. Some of them will fail. Some of them will succeed. And keep on doing this. Keep on, keep on, and something will click. So I don't have time. And my dear things, we have experimented. Hajar, a blind person came to our class. And after some time, he started his business. A grandmother came to our class. After some time, she started her business. And they, she started with $10, $20. After two years, she's making 500,000 rupees. After four years. So I risk is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we can make an effort. Let me show you a video. You know all the birds, all the animals in the world, they follow this. I will show you the video of an animal that he follows effectuation through. And then we can finish our, uh, finish our, so let me, you will enjoy this two minute video. Can you hear? Can you hear the sound? Yes. 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 Beavers are yes. vegetarians. They gnaw through bark to eat the sugary layer underneath. They've been gnawing through forests for 20 million years. Felling trees with your teeth takes great strength, skill, and patience. One technique is to slice halfway through and let the wind do the rest. The beaver's incisors are strengthened with iron, which makes them orange. They grow continuously and even self-sharpen. The pond makes it easier to move around the heavy logs they need to build their dams. Out of the water, it's a struggle. Stones help weigh down the base. The whole family works together, carefully interlocking the timber. They dredge mud from the pond bottom to seal the dam. Each pond traps several inches of sediment every year, so there's plenty of it. The young act as apprentice builders, learning the tricks of the trade. The final results are impressive. They have stopped the stream in four years. In the Rocky Mountains, beaver dams slowly filter billions of tons of... My dear friends, it takes them four years. Mother beaver, dad beaver, the kid beaver, the uncle beaver, they work day and night, they cut trees. Let me show you a slide and then we can finish. Wow, look at this, the Qudrat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at this, how great is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How great he is, how great he is. Just I have to open one slide and then I can show you. And then we will want to finish. This is a bird animal in, in North America. This animal is, can you see this? Alicia, yes. can you see this? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. So, yes sir. What is the bird in hand? What is the bird in hand of this animal? His hands, his teeth, his, his foot, his teeth are made of iron, iron. 
his tail this is the tail and his his eyes his nose this is all what is needed and beaver identifies a place for a dam he starts making the dam he starts cutting the tree tree together husband wife does he go to the world bank does he get does he get money from the bank alicia does he get money from the bank <laughs> no sir so. does he get money from the world bank the kids the kids wow this look at the stem it's like this circular angle and look at this this is man made dam man made dam who made it engineers who made it phd's this is made by the beaver wow the same design subhan rabbana ma khalaqta hadha batila in quran allah says rabbana ma khalaqta hadha batila subhanak fakina azab annar oh god you are amazing you are wonderful look at these houses and these are babies look at this if we are we are like how many people in this class we are like uh, we are like 291 people dear if we all get together we cannot make a dam like this so the question is the question is the last once again what we talk the effectuation theory the effectuation theory says the beaver the beaver had means the beaver had means who you are what you know and whom you know your teeth your hands your eyes your relatives your wife your husband your son start doing whatever you can do with as less as you can and then you will start doing plus one of allah will open ways for you and then you go to the university then you go to this amazing university then prepare yourself for a job for a small business and for entrepreneurship thank you very much i hope uh, it will become a source of pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless, bless us i mean so if there are any questions uh, i can be approached i have shared my email and uh, there are a lot of all of the videos are available i, I can just uh, i can just uh, i can just um, write it uh, so my uh, there is a youtube channel which we have from our uh, and you can find these videos in english uh, where you can see and i will be very happy to some day invite dia to pakistan and i wish to visit indonesia sometimes and do a workshop inshallah on women entrepreneurs and mother entrepreneurs and alhamdulillah dia and sister silia we we believe that Uh, mothers and women have to be trained on the khadija model we call the khadija radhiyallahu anha model and we got the best pride on jan- 15 january yeah we got the prize in the united states 2021 on the mothers entrepreneurship camp and i think we need to share it with the brothers and sisters of indonesia so uh, thank you very much for listening and if somebody has thank any you. And, uh, questions then please uh you you can ask on the chat box and it will be I, i'm so amazed to see your university uh, thank that. you it was because you see uh, i couldn't understand but you know, you were saying um kun khaira ummat and you were yeah. using the islamic terminologies and yeah it's exactly was amazing <laughs> it was mind boggling wow and so also khalifa school yeah you and it is in the name of the islamic university obang uh, i think so yes exactly okay thank you very much dr um tahid dr sahil khuraisi for your uh, interesting and very interactive uh, presentation today so it's really open our mind that uh, we have to change our mind from managerial mindset to the entrepreneurial mindset and everybody is different and is unique and we have to try to dig to know ourselves and then uh, to learn not only for seeking a job in a 
a big company, but also we have to learn how to work in a small company. And even if possible, we we need to learn how to uh, to build our own business. It's, it's very important. So it's uh, we need exactly. to build the our city city bank bank model. City city bank bank model. Yeah, <laughs> that's a city city bank bank model. It's very interesting. Okay, now. Um, we come to the Q&A session. Uh, there will be two sessions, I think, uh, at this moment, uh, and uh, we can see later. And each session is for three questions. Uh, and don't forget to mention your name and your institution and for whom the question is for. So I think, uh, is there any question? Is, is there any question? So for... there is a, there's one question from Nurzaima. Okay. Uh, from Malaysia, and she's saying that parents sometimes compare with others. Yeah. So, my dear sister, uh, Nur Zaymin, uh, I think we should train our students, our kids, that you are unique. You are one and only. You are one and only. And then, if you find good things in others, then learn from them as well. We will learn from others, but I'm unique. Yeah. I, I'm unique. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, how about the parents then? Can yeah, the parents have to also unlearn. We have a special program for kids entrepreneurship in Karachi. I wish your university starts those things. We have a program for in the university. We have yeah. a kids entrepreneurship program, class two, three, four, five people come. Then we arrange a program for mothers and fathers. We have to train them. The, the whole generation needs to unlearn. So listen, my dear sister, mm -hmm. we have to unlearn because we are living in the age of neocolonialism. We're still living with the colonialism mindset. <laughs> where language is important. And I, I, I appreciate Indonesian brothers that you should respect your own language first. Respect your own language, your own culture, your own, your own family values, and then learn English, and then learn German, and then learn French. Yeah, Everybody exactly. should have four languages. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's a huge exercise and your university can play a very important role. They should take come forward. We need to change the mindset of faculty and parents. parents. And you see, right, so, yeah. okay. So, no, as I mean, so I think, uh, first you need to, yes, you still, uh, everybody still need to learn from others, but yeah. first you still, um, uh, recognize that you have your own unique. So don't forget about that. So of course, uh, we cannot compare to others because uh, as Dr. I, if you Tahit, have time, I can show you a one minute video. You see, there's a lady in United States. She mm -hmm. was born without arms. She did not have arms. And her mother was crying and weeping. What will my daughter do? What will my daughter do? And then you see, if we teach the standard American techniques, the standard business school techniques, and the standard Western techniques, they are limited in thoughts, actually. We exactly. people in Indonesia and Philippines and Malaysia, they should go, we should get good things from the American model. You know why we got the first prize from America? We told the man, hey, there's a problem with your thinking. And you know, this lady, Jessica Cox, she can fly an aeroplane. She does not believe in SWOT analysis, strength, weaknesses, opportunities. These are too small. We have no weakness. When somebody told her that you are not weak, you can do anything you like. She, if I can, if I can quickly, do I have one minute? Okay. Oh, oh, so many here. questions okay, coming okay. up. Let's now. take questions. Yeah, because uh, I think it's uh, became more personal. I think because um, all the questions are actually about uh, personal things, like uh, about the parents, mm. about yeah, uh, the child do not agree with what parents say. So what do we find a way to defend our own matter? So how can we accept criticism from people? Where to start? I think it's uh, enough for uh, this question for Dr. Sahid as well. And I will have another question for uh, Miss Dia, actually, but uh, maybe we can finish this first. So from Jelin from San Pedro College, uh, what can you say to young people who wants to engage in the business in this my, new normal? My dear friends, look at your bird in hand, who you are. If you like baking, cooking, designing, because the beauty of bird in hand is the bird in hand is always free. 
you, you see one of my student who had a beard he had a beard and he wanted to he used to purchase oil from the website in the united states he saw there are many beard oil companies he had a friend he went to him and said sir you are an engineer can you tell me the compositions he purchased like in few hundred dollars he purchased something mixed it got some bottles and started selling to his friends and he started with very small money and after after like 2 years he's making it's growing up $10,000 $5,000 from his home he does not go to office he's our bba student so my dear friend please do whatever you like your passion your effect. hobby and mm -hmm. you can look at effectuation theory may allah subhanahu wa taala bless you okay uh, last question for dr sahid uh, uh uh but sometimes the chair do not agree with that say how can we accept criticism criticism from people okay it's uh okay uh, what uh, about that uh dr sahid uh, how can we accept criticism from well, people there is one of my professor in united states edward hess edward hess says i wish there should be a master's degree in humility i wish <laughs> there should be a master's degree in gratitude he says that you should go to the graveyard once a week or twice a month and spend some time there and you should understand that everyone in this world is unique and everyone is is a special gift of allah subhanahu wa taala when we accept that it becomes easy because criticism is many times it helps you to learn it it helps you to reflect so you are you and he is he and i am awesome and he is awesome uh, it is just a matter of thinking and uh, you see professor has says they can learn accounting and marketing and finance from youtube there's a problem but who will teach them humility that's why i love your university it was amazing and it can it can he said make them do small tasks make them feed a cat make them go and help some poor person and so these things i think criticism uh, will help you to uh, to reflect on yourself and give you more answers inshallah all right uh, thank you very much dr shahid for your answer and uh, there are lots of question actually so i i need to to filter out uh, all the questions and uh, Uh, back to the, our topic today, uh, Dr. Sahid. I just want to, uh, Dr. Sahid and uh, Miss Tia, about uh, what currently happening in uh, our, around the world actually about the business actually. So we know that it's uh, difficult for SMEs, especially for uh, small and uh, medium that not. Uh, they don't uh, able to operate any technology before, but they need to adapt to the technology. So, uh, do you think that after the COVID 19 the small and the medium business still need to develop their technology uh, capability, uh, or after? Do you think that after the COVID 19 everything will back to normal or keep? remind the same like uh, what happening now so i just want to know about your thoughts about uh, what happening today will it uh, still happening after covid or after covid we can back to the normal so ms tia and dr shahid can you please before we back to the uh, lots of personal questions it's about no, personal I, questions i think dia can answer that question better Okay, <laughs> okay, Mistia, please, uh, can you please share your thought about this? Yeah, Dr. Shahid, can you help me? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we want to learn from uh, Dr. Shahid first and also compare in the Pakistan. Yeah? Uh, Comparing I mean, the Pakistan. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, how how's Pakistan deal with the uh, no, no day situation? Yes, exactly. So this, yeah, after this, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, to my this. dear brothers and sisters, actually. Uh, Uh, what I, we have found is that it is. Uh, if if uh, I think everybody 
Uh, in the COVID era, we saw that many people in the first two months, they were very in a difficult situation. Mm -hmm. But gradually, uh, we, we, we are, we, we, during COVID, I was working with like uh, around 1,000 people all across okay. the country. We had an online course. And mm -hmm. my observation is that we were teaching effectuation online. And anybody who came into the course, like 40, 50, 60 percent of them started doing something online teaching, blogging, making websites, online food, mm -hmm. consulting, yoga, training, and uh, games, making games. So there was so much things happening around. And we found, like when I met some of my students yesterday night in my university, and they said to me, Shaheed, the bird in hand helped us. And you know what, we went to Amazon online, Mm -hmm. And the Pakistani textile sector was not able to sell. They were selling B2B, business to business. Exactly. And we joined Amazon. We did a short course from Amazon online. And Shahid, you know what happened? They gave us training and we started B2C in the United States. We connect Pakistani textile firms. These are young boys. Young boys okay. in, in, in the university. They finished their BBA one year, two years ago. And they are making 20, 30, $40,000, $50,000 a month. Okay. Can you imagine? Okay, yeah. So they are connecting to large companies with, so every young boy and man in this class, there are 300, 295 people. Please reflect on who you are. You okay. are a manifestation and you are a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are not ordinary. And remember, money making is not the test. Maybe you do service. Maybe you do some social entrepreneurship. So remember, money making is not the criteria for success. Some people will make less money, but they will contribute more. Okay? So you will do something if you... This is my take, Dia. Yeah? Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Sahid. So, uh, yes, making money is not our priority. So the first thing is uh, you should do what's best you can do. Uh, and I, I believe that uh, the money will following uh, that part. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's my opinion. Okay, Mistia, uh, what yeah. about your thought about uh, this uh, situation, yeah. especially in Indonesia? Yeah, uh, we back to the the survey also, and also we can look at the sur surrounding. So uh, in the first month, two months, three months, maybe we are shocked, shocked to the uh, to the situation why this is happen, etc. So we are maybe denial of that. But now we are uh, accepting and realize this thing. And uh, especially for digital, it will be uh, after uh, after COVID or post COVID, it will be remain the same. I mean, steadily like this. So I mean, like a uh, home uh, economy and also the, the uh, digitalization, e-commerce is will be still will yeah, be growing. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also Indonesia actually, for the online purchasing, still 5% compared to the offline. So uh, now we are also know about the omni-channel. So I think uh, this will be still increasing, especially in Indonesia. Still increasing. Yeah. What about after COVID-19? It still uh, remain the same? The yeah. Behavior of consumer, be okay. Still the same. Mm, still the same. Because now people is... Uh, already feel the convenience of convenience, going online. Exactly, yeah? Yeah. Like, like us, is a, we just uh, click, 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 then <laughs> the, the goods, it's, it's come to our house. Our house. Without, exactly. uh, we don't need to uh, go outside or go to out of the town, but uh, the goods is coming. So it will be convenience while we are uh, looking, let's say now it's a Korean movie yeah, in Indonesia. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's are, happening. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Korean, so the food is coming. It will be convenience. That's why. That's why uh, now people consider also about the value, the value, uh, and also the healthiness, the, the, the packaging, etc. It will be concerned. Concern. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you very much, Mistia. Yeah. And again, uh, we go to the uh, another three questions. Actually, I will pick up. Uh, Another questions. Uh, I think uh, this one from Ilyana Natasha. Uh, she's from UITM Malaysia. 
uh, she asked to Miss Dia based on the one of the slides. Uh, she saw that the percentage usage for entertainment is also getting higher. Uh, so is the entertainment increase is good for the community in a good way? Uh, some people might think that it could affect the people interest in working or learning during pandemic. So uh, maybe you can answer this first and then we yeah. will uh, go to the next question. Yeah, based on my experience, now we are not seeing people in person. We always see the, the monitor, yeah. The, mm -hmm. So the like the Zoom fatigue like that, it now also uh, happening. Yeah. So they are already boring, just meeting, just in the in the monitor. So uh, they are looking for entertain. I, I'm uh, in in my home. My kid is playing like a game online with the, with the brother, and this uh, can make a fun. And I also look at them to playing game online. I mean, to playing game together, and uh, they have fun like this. So of course. Me as a mother, as a parent, also will be happy. So I think entertainment at home for family, it will be increased also. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. That's why uh, now, like, like this is a, a Korean, <laughs> Korean movie. Yeah, and, and another thing, Miss Tia, uh, we can yeah. see that uh, in Indonesia, I don't know in another country, but in Indonesia, many people want to be a YouTuber now. Yeah. Yeah, so it's increasing so fast and it's happening now in Indonesia and I think in other countries uh, because of the increase. Of yeah, because the now people users. are looking for the, the good content to see. They only, they only have a, they at home and they want to see the good quality of the entertainment. So uh, one is the content of the YouTuber is also uh, can make our refresh, yeah, refreshing like I also usually also see the movie after working, let's say uh, 10 p.m., just 30 minutes, but it makes me recharge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, next to the next questions. Uh, uh, Salam, Dr. Sahid is from you, from Jana. Uh, she asked uh, Dr. Sahid to give us the link for the one minute videos about the lady with no arms. Okay, okay, I will yeah. write it. Okay. Yeah, I want to see also. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it, it must be a very interesting yeah. video. Actually. Yes, I, I will, I'll be just sending, okay? Okay, and another question, I think it's, uh, Assalamualaikum, I'm Alia from UITM. In your knowledge, what is the best career for customer service management? Because I understand that customer service management major can enter any company as the companies nowadays have a lot of customers to give a serve. So I think this question will be answered by both our speakers today, from Dr. Shahid, uh, also from uh, Ms. Dia. So what is the best career? So she's still talking about career, but uh, as we learned before from uh, Dr. Shahid, that career is not priority at this moment. Okay. So, so my dear to... my dear participant, Aliyah, I, uh, mm -hmm. I think we need to learn how to smile. The first thing is learn how to smile. So how to in smile. Our classes, in our classes, we teach our students, Assalamu alaikum, good morning. So oh, we need to learn that. and practice this in your home, your mom, your dad. If you are a lady, you please hug your mom, go today, cook something for her. We need to learn from our own, own self. So if we are pleasant at home, we will be pleasant with others. Customer service doesn't come superficial. We don't want air hostesses or people smiling by paid money, no. That is superficial management, no. You, one of the poet, uh, Iqbal, who did his PhD from Germany, he's the national poet of Pakistan. He said, I will translate, He said, Oh, people of the West, oh, people of the West, human beings are not a commodity. Human beings are not for sale. Human beings are not transactional. Whatever we are teaching in economics today is most of that is wrong. It, it, it considers people to be a commodity who can be sold and purchased and hired. There's a friend of, I, I know a person, Zaki Mustafa. He, there's a case written by Harvard Business School. He was from Dhaka, Bangladesh. 
There's a Harvard case. If somebody is interested, he can email me, I will send it. He went to the United States. He became an entrepreneur. In the case, he writes, I do not hire people. I do not hire people in my company. I adopt people. I adopt them. I am their dad. I am their dad. So yeah. in customer services, my dear sister, we have to be pleasant, sincere, and true. Cosmetics will, will, won't help. You won't find it. So the best thing to do is to know yourself and do small service with your family, your friends, your network, and take some courses. Read the book, Humility. Humility is the new smart by David S. And there's a book called, very interesting work. And we have the video on my channel as well. How will you measure your life? Dia, you know, a Harvard professor has written a book. Know the purpose of your life first. If you know that, you will become a good person. Okay, uh, that's the answer from Dr. Sahid. So uh, now we can hear the answer from Ms. Dia. Yeah, regarding the question about the customer service. Mm -hmm. So uh, like in my presentation, uh, now it's, uh, it's not about only technology, but uh, uh, technology is for humanity. So I think customer service, because with the technology, uh, people more close, yeah. So make people more close. So technology is not for uh, like a robot or to to make people far away. But with the technology, uh, people more closer. Like us here, we are in Indonesia, Doctor Said in Pakistan. But uh, with the technology, uh, we can have a closer or intimate uh, uh, meeting with, with mm -hmm. him. Exactly. So uh, customer service uh, later as a human, so we'll be balancing the technology itself. So I think it is will be a good also, a good career still. And uh, uh, look look ourselves, if, if uh, we are talking with uh, annoying customer service, we don't like, right? So uh, we hope that when we have a problem, then we talk to the customer service, they know us, they know our problem, and they, and they can solve the problem. So. I think this is uh, still good uh, for the future. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, I hope it can uh, satisfy the uh, with. Uh, I forgot the name. So I think. Okay. Uh, I think it. Uh, I hope it can answer the questions. And now uh, I also found uh, interesting questions. So I think we can. We can keep uh, doing this Q and I because we still have about thirty minutes uh, time. So it's good for uh, all the students and all the particip participants to uh, deliver their questions. So we still have thirty minutes. So uh, for Siri, can you for please introduce what type of students they are? They are undergrad, masters, or undergrad, undergraduate students. And what so is their subject? Like economics uh, or business or engineering? Mostly from economics. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's mostly from economics. So um, I'm going to read another question from Eka Ayu. Oh, it's from it's our students. It's from Unisula, Indonesia. Uh, the question goes to the Miss Tia. I want uh, looking the existing EMS or U UMKM. How is the ICSB way to develop a EMS? Uh, Maybe so many. Uh, she means it's a SME. <laughs> yeah, SME, yeah, EMS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I am looking at the existing, how is the, oh, the, how the ICSB help to develop the SME? Okay, I think that's the question. Yeah. Okay, please, Miss, yeah. So in line with uh, Dr. Shahid also uh, shared to us this, uh, this morning and also my presentation. So uh, it will be easy to develop SME if they know what is the competence of them. So uh, as I also mentioned in my presentation, so please uh, design your purpose, winning your life, winning your future. Uh, if SME know or the they, they, the, the owner of the founder is knowing themselves better. It will be more uh, easy to develop the SME. So, uh, 
FME is not about to give the, the capital or something like that, but we must also uh, coaching them, yeah, coaching them to be the, the best uh, SME. So not only giving the money, but the money is uh, for what? For uh, for the pur what what kind of the purpose? What kind of the plan? So that's the ICSD way to develop the, the SME. Okay, okay, that's uh, the answer from Ms. Yeah, so it's only about the money uh, that the SMEs can, can be developed. So yeah. I think uh, also the purpose of uh, what's the money for, and maybe uh, we can share the money to the yeah. those because, who need it. Uh, mm. Because based on the so no, my, my experience, when we are coaching the SME, so what actually your goals are uh, they? They cannot because uh, if they can decide the goals, we can uh, we can bring to the action plan. But if they don't know the goals, so what kind of action plan that related to the goals? They don't. They, we cannot mm. uh, uh, develop our planning for that. So back to the uh, our link to the uh, Dr. Shahid say that. Uh, knowing the your uniqueness, even in your business, what kind of your uniqueness in the business and uh, compare with others is also matter to their flopping. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So, okay. Uh, I think uh, I I found another another interesting question from Muhammadiyah Bhutan University. It's from Isra. Uh, uh, I don't know. Is a lady or a uh, uh, he has uh, Isra from Ahmadiyya Patan University. He has two questions. Uh, uh, one question for Dr. Shahi. I, I will read the question for Dr. Shahid first. Parents eager to make their children successful. Yes, uh, it should. Uh, it's usually happening. Yeah, but they force a child to do what they want. Why don't some of them try to understand the child's wishes, even though we know that children have to serve their parents? Okay, that's the question. It's about the... <laughs> yeah, I will have to show you a quick cartoon for that. I think maybe okay, yeah. I can quickly show that, that the cartoon because the cartoon will explain, uh, uh, the cartoon will, exp will help me to explain... Uh, the question. Yeah, you see, when I was a small child, and my mother wanted me to, so you see this cartoon? Uh, which one? It's still moving. Can you see it? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Sounded my like... mother wanted me to become an engineer. And why she wanted to become an engineer? Because my uncle, her brother was an engineer. He was working in Dubai and he was making a lot of money. <laughs> and he was married to a beautiful yeah. lady. So. The mother, the mother was thinking that if you become an engineer and go to the Middle East, you will get a lot of money and you can make a house. So that was the equation of the mother. Every mother and father was thinking like that in 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. But now things are changing. You know, there was a class eight educated woman. She took our course and it's happening all over the world now. And after she learned some selling skills, she is making $200, $300 a month. So our students, yeah, our yeah. students, even during studies, they're making $500, six, they're doing online selling, they web making, designing, consulting, coaching. There's so many things happening. Elon Musk is saying, I need people with skills. So I think the question is that the parents uh, are going to learn very soon. It will make them learn. What is happening around us will make them learn. Students come to me, sir, I spent $30,000 in my undergrad. Sir, I can't find a job, it is one year. And he comes to me, I said, okay, and go and learn JavaScript. <laughs> he learned JavaScript online from, from internet. In five months, he was making 60,000 Pakistan rupees. You see, in a, a university could not equip him for four years. He was in the university for four years and he could not get a job. He spent few hours in the course, few hours. And he found his buddy man, he went to the internet, started learning JavaScript, Ruby on the Rails, did freelancing and now he's working for 70, 80,000, that is $600. Look at this. But these things are changing, my dear. 
and inshallah people and parents will know that oh my god degree is important but skills and the mindset is most important all right thank you dr sahit here it's very common uh, that uh, maybe it's very common uh, the parents usually uh, try to uh, uh, to make uh, i think they they only wants the best for their child so uh, in the positive way that we have to think that uh, parents usually wants the best for their child but uh, Sometimes it's not in line with uh, the children's thought, so that's why uh, we have to prove them that we have their uh, our own way, we have our own um, interests. So hope that uh, they will understand. So I think it's by the time, is that correct, Doctor Sahid? By the time they will understand that uh, sometimes um, what children wants it's not in line with what the parents want. So. But some, uh, but one time they will understand. I, I believe that it's according to my experience as well. So maybe because uh, you are still young, so you will learn that parents will understand at the end. And uh, for Miss Tia, sorry, Ibu yes. si, can I uh, give a tip about the parents? parents. And oh child? yes, <laughs> sure, sure, Miss Tia. Yeah. What as I parents think, uh, are, even okay. we are, uh, even our topic now about the digital entrepreneurship. But uh, the, the, the question, question is, <laughs> is about that. So, uh, but this maybe don't make this is a, as a barrier yeah, for, for you. And the, the key is the communication. Channel so one. how uh, we, we, should, uh, we have to respect to our parents, of course. But of course. how we communicate and uh, how we, we, we also if parents don't know us, but we must also uh, we should knowing our parents what what uh, they look uh, what they like and what the the gesture etc. So uh, we must understanding them, and then we make a communicate uh, with them with their uh, with their way lah, with their way. So uh, through this communication, I think yeah, I, I know this is not uh, easy at at the first. But uh, try to communicate nicely so uh, the parents will be understand. But of course, this is not. But and one more, don't forget. Like also, Doctor Shahid say, we must praying for the parents. We must mm -hmm. give them alfateha. It's in every our dua also. So because exactly. uh, not only us can can change their heart, but of course Allah can. So. Uh, Maybe through this uh, communi uh, combination of the, the kudua and the communication, maybe uh, you, you can have a uh, good parents uh, on your version. Yeah, that's only the, the tips lah for them. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. Yes, exactly. Uh, I definitely agree with Ms. Tia and also Dr. Sahid in this term. And yes, uh, uh, we have to communicate in a good way to our parents according with uh, about our interest if it's different with uh, what parents want. And uh, this question is for Ms. Tia about the strategy uh, against doing business by selling product. product. Uh, how to strategy against doing business by selling product at an affordable price? Well, it's a strategy to uh, sell a product in affordable price and still earning a profit. Oh, it's about uh, financial management actually. <laughs> but maybe uh, Miss Tia can share this uh, her yeah. thought about this. Yeah. For this, uh, I think we, we should have a special workshop. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> number one is, uh, of course, you should know uh, your target market. This is number one. So, because uh, many SME think that they can sell something to everyone, which is this is uh, wrong. You uh, please find one company who sell one product for everyone. It cannot be. So mm -hmm. you you must uh, know who is your target market. And number two is uh, before this, you should know uh, what problem actually the target market have that you want to solve. So what kind of problem you are trying to solve to the target market? So 
So because uh, target market is correct and match, they are uh, questioning about the price. Like you say, the the branded uh, the the branded bag, the branded goods, it's have their own market, right? But uh, the cheap one also have their own market. So uh, which market we want to try to to sell our product? That's uh, that's the, the simple question. The simple, the simple question. answer. Yeah. Yeah, uh, selling a product with an affordable price is uh, still a challenge for every uh, business owner, actually. But uh, one uh, thing... Yeah. Mm. Affordable is according to whom? The uh, yeah. whom is, uh, we must define the whom is. So the target market is a matter here. So mm. uh, like I said before, like uh, maybe uh, F Ferrari or uh, Mercedes, etc., is not the target market for the Innova or for the uh, Avanza, but Avanza have their uh, their own target market. Yeah, so exactly. this that's that's why what I uh, uh, in my presentation what I said before is we should start small, start now, and start right now. Sometimes the SME is not start right, so they just okay. I can I can uh, make this product. I can make a cake, but uh, this cake is for whom? Because cake is many, uh, uh, decorative cake or cake for breakfast or so. So this cake is for whom? That's uh, sometimes the SME not defined in the beginning. So when they are come to us, oh, how to sell the product? The product is not going well. So because they in in the beginning they are not defined uh, who will absorb the product. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Dia. It's a very uh, enlightened uh, answer for all of us, including me, because uh, I also run my own business, a small business, and I just start uh, the business and uh, still struggling right now because of the COVID-19. And <clears throat> uh, next question is from Amir uh, from DIU Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. Uh, this question is for maybe for uh, uh, I think both of our speakers can answer these questions because uh, no specific speakers uh, mentioned in these questions. What are your suggestions for an entrepreneur in terms of managing a team? So managing a team. So it's a team management. So what's your suggestion? Maybe we can start from Dr. Sahib. Please. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, these are very interesting questions and we are also learning actually. Uh, we are also learners actually. This is what I learned. And uh, good questions make us think and may Allah give me. So my dear brother uh, uh, Amir, uh, I think it's important how you make a team. Uh, you see, entrepreneur is uh, uh, how you need to, as Zaki Mustafa, he's from Bangladesh, you need to read his case. He says, I do not hire people. I adopt people. I'm like their grandfather, grandmother, and, your, and their mom. So when you hire, when you, when you, how in, in a startup, we don't hire people easily, actually. We don't hire people uh, quickly. When we start doing something, we, we call this, we call the self-selected partners. There's a terminology in, in entrepreneurship self selected partners there are some people in our surroundings our friends our class fellows our relatives in the neighborhood who like our idea and they said hey uh, hey hey amir you are doing great something i can do this for you as well i like your idea i can do this for you as well so you can find people advisors supporters investors team members around you so your team is not only your employees, your spouse, your family, your mom, your dad, your brother, your neighborhood. So the team context is bigger. And the biggest thing, the most important thing is uh, to, to make your team ha happy is to have a purposeful vision. You need to have a purpose. What am I, am I doing something good for humanity? If that is good, it becomes very easy to manage a team because they, there's a very interesting video. Simon Sinek is a great person in the United States. He talks about, we need to be clear about our why. And our why is clear, 
these people will not work for you. They will work for your why. So Simon Sinek says, don't hire people. Hire people, engage people who have the same why as you. So when they have the same why as you, they will be your friends. They will be considering you as your mom and dad. They will be ready to work the late hours and you will be caring for them as well. So that is, you see, this, this is uh, in our, the poet says, have a sweet tongue and empathize. Have a sweet tongue and empathize. So we need to go back to our culture, man. We need to go back to Bengalish culture and, and Indonesian culture. Americans are fine, but we need to find our own terminology and our jargons. All right. So, yeah, sweet tongue and empathize. Yeah, it's very important uh, when uh, we are trying to manage a team. So, how about your <clears throat> opinion, Ms. Dia? Maybe yeah. you can share your thought to our mm. audience. According about the uh, team management <clears throat> in the business. <clears throat> uh, before we hire a team or the staff, we must uh, know what uh, kind of the job description or uh, what kind of uh, what kind of uh, matter that uh, we need some somebody because sometimes uh, we have uh, staff but we don't know what should they do to uh, support our goals so number one is uh, we, we must define what kind of a job or what kind of a, a role that uh, we need to be, to, to support uh the number number two is uh now we have a chance uh, to staff from the terminology of the staff to talents so uh, talents means uh, more than a staff staff may be like a uh, back to dr shahid presentation like a robot but now we we use as a we uh, add, uh we call them as a talents not only staff so if a talents, we know that uh, this is a human also, that uh, they have uh, many things. So if, if we know them uh, better um, and we have, uh, what's call it, like a regular meeting, uh, so they know sometimes like this, yeah. The staff or the team do not know what is our goal, what is the plan. They just know you should uh, complete this task that so we, as a uh, as a director or, or as a owner we just uh, say to them just complete this task then no other communication so i just uh, want to advise that we have a, like a regular meeting to uh, what's call it to share our dream to share our vision this business want to uh, going where so the 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 team uh, can have like a sense of belonging to the business and also uh, they can not only complete the task uh, they uh, they we give to them but they can think uh, beyond of that based on the the vision that we are shared to them but if we don't have any communication like that of course yeah like uh, Maybe we, we uh, have a difficult to, to handle them. And uh, we just think why the team is not help us, but team is also, uh, what's call it, uh, make a description for this uh, growing of the business. So I think back to the communication and how you uh, give them or uh, define the job description before you hire a team. Yeah, that's industry. All right, that's the answer from uh, Ms. Dia. So I can see that uh, there is a similarity from the answer from yeah. Dr. Uh, Shahid and Ms. Dia, which is uh, the communication, the sweet tongue and sympathize is the key to uh, manage a team. So, um, Another question, I, maybe I, I need to climb up to find another question that maybe I miss. Uh, it's mostly about uh, their 
problem with the parents. Some some of them when we to visit us. Okay. Uh, Dr. Sahid uh, type in here that we need to reflect on the good things we have when we is to visit a hospital and see people. Yeah, it's about sympathize to others. And then uh, maybe uh, did I miss uh, a questions? Any question? Arthur. All of them are oh, See, Arthur Leju, Jeffrey from UATM Malaysia. Oh, I, I think I missed this question before. How do you motivate yourself to be able to achieve your own goals? And how do we know about our talents or those who don't know exactly what to do as their ambition make the, oh, I want to be a pilot then after two weeks. I want to be an entrepreneur, so they change. Okay. Uh, so how do you motivate yourself and how do we know about our talents actually, our actual talents? Uh, Great. Okay, maybe Dr. Sahid, you can answer. Yes, exactly. Questions. So my dear friends, uh, when I, I, I'm a professor in Germany as well. I teach a course there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A few years ago when I went there, our secretary, Farah Alexandra, said to me, Shahid, uh, when you come next time, I will not be there. I said, where are you going? She said, I'm going for an adventure. I'm going on bicycle from Munich to Hamburg. Munich, that's like 1,000 kilometer. And I said, how will you go? She said, I will bicycle and camp. And you know how old she is? So let's see, 65 years. She's a grandmother. 65? Oh, my God. 65-year-old lady has the capacity and the courage to do this. To do this. Where did they learn? From the childhood. When I was in Germany and my kids, they were not taught advanced mathematics in Germany. They were taught swimming, walking, crossing the road, bicycling, camping, drinking water from the lake, going to a hospital, doing charity. They were taught four languages. There are 300 museums in Berlin. You'd need 600 days. So every week they visit a museum. They observe, they walk, bicycle. They... One day my son came and said, Dad, I got a license to cut vegetables. They gave me training in school, how to help my mom. So see, when the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he was a young boy, he was taken by Halima Saadiya. You know, he was taken to the desert. Why do they go, why do they go to the desert? Because you live close to nature. The goats, the camels, the, the wind, the cold. So when you live close to nature, my dear friends, you observe, you experiment, you look at the stars, and you see, washamti wa duhaha, wal qamari iza talaha, wa nahari iza jallaha. Look at the sun and the moon, the geography, the day and night. It's not ordinary, it is something special. So when you, so I, there's an echo coming in my, hello, okay, I, I can. So these experiments, I, I, I was raised in the United States. In class four, I was selling newspapers after my school. Oh. My mother was doing babysitting. So these nations have, in, are inculcating the spirit from childhood. So every young man and boy in Indonesia shall be doing small things, taking care of the car, washing the dad's car, washing your own clothes, helping your mom and dad, helping people in the community. Once you start doing this, I forgot the question. <laughs> okay, as young uh, people, uh, so we need, you should do as more as, uh, as much as you can and explore the nature so you can absorb a lot of experience from nature also. And then you understand yourself. You see, I'm an engineer. I, I discovered at the age of 37 that I'm not an engineer mm. because I was put in a mechanical way. I was put on that machine. I was put on that machine. I made a robot at the age of 37. You know, after my MBA, dear, a person who hired me was class 12 dropout. Oh, and then he was a billionaire. 
And then I learned, oh my God, I did not discover who I am. <laughs> Memorizing, rote learning, numbers, grades. Okay. Yes, yes, I, I understand that uh, by absorbing experience, so we can more understand about ourselves. So, so the the most important thing is to understand yourself by absorbing maybe experience from nature, from uh, environment, and uh, and 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 everything, yeah, and everything around around us. And uh, I think this question maybe it's it's, it's more about lady. So uh, even if for it's the last question I think for our webinar today. So this is from Malisa Falasifa from Unisula, Indonesia. So I think uh, I will ask for both our speakers today. Uh, about people nowadays have a lot of standards, uh, so specific standards actually, uh, as what you have. Uh, for, for example, like beauty standard, so it's a, a lady actually, yeah. That people, especially women with fair, glowing skin, will be said as beautiful. Yeah, it's a uh, standard for who? Yeah? And we mostly trap in this type of standardization. In your opinion, what is the best way to break those standards? Maybe we can uh, we can ask our speaker, both our speakers today, to answer these interesting questions. Uh, please, Dr. Sahib, can you please answer uh, how um, to um, the best way to break those standards? Actually, I think we need to. These are stupid standards. And, <laughs> and stupid you see, standard. I went to Nigeria, and in Nigeria, people are as black as my coat. Exactly. But, Mashallah, they still marry, they love each other, they're very beautiful men and women. Mm -hmm. So the color is only one small thing. And I would just quote one of my teachers. He's at Harvard Business School. He died, Clayton. He says, The yardstick, the yardstick with which God will measure your life is not dollars, is not your degree, it's is not, not your beautiful skin is not your big house. The yardstick with which God will measure your life is how you helped others. How you others. helped others become a better human being. If I'm a businessman and my business is helping people to become a good person, then that business is good. If I'm making money out of that business to enjoy a luxurious life, then that is also stupid. So the purpose of my life is to do something which is good for humanity so that I can please my God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this education has to be given to our students. And this is the education of Inna Haza Lafi Sufi Ula, Sufi Ibrahim wa Musa. This is not my learning, it is the Abrahamic learning, exactly. Moses learning, the Jesus learning, and the teachings of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So my friends who are Hindu or Buddhist, even in you go to your own literature, you will also find the same thing. So this is my brief answer, which I got from my teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Sahid. Uh, and now, Ms. Yeah, can you please share your thought about this uh, interesting topic? Yeah. Just one word, yeah, just be yourself. It is yeah. yourself. yourself. Everybody is beautiful. Yeah. And also sometimes the standardization is created by the industry. So industry, know, exactly. Yeah. So you must know uh, what what the, the uh, what their campaign is for what, like a glowing skin, etc. It's uh, more on the cosmetic industry. So I think just be yourself and uh, show to, to your surrounding that you are unique, like, <laughs> again, uh, as uh, Dr. Said also present, you are unique, you are uh, just one in, in the world, so you cannot standardize. But uh, if you're not confident, it will be harder also to show people uh, who you are. So conf confidentiality also is a must here, is, uh, and uh, be yourself with confidence. Like that. Uh, and also, I want to answer this about uh, how to motivate uh, yourself to be to achieve your own goal. Uh, again, you must have uh, 
big goal yeah, in in I mean big goal in your life like not a big goal uh, like in material but how many people I can help or, or how many uh, impactful I am to to, to for us for the surrounding so based on my experience or well, sometimes we also have a uh, uh, what you call it uh, board or like that but when we when we have a big goal or when we know what kind of our purpose in life. So I will get up again. Oh, please, <laughs> uh, you should get up and uh, working again with your goal because this is you're still, still nothing. This is all, it's still not impactful. So please get up and like that. So when we know uh, what, what kind of uh, our purpose, it will be uh, easier, easier to get up when we are demotivated. Of course, as a human, sometimes we are demotivated because of people talking about us, people hate us, etc. We hate or something like that. But if we have a, a big like that, uh, more than us, big more than us, it will be easy for us to get up again. And looking for the help or support from others, like maybe me because we I already have a husband and children. When I demonstrate, I talk to them, and then they can support us. Uh, I talk to the parents, something like that. So it will be that's it, Pusri. Thank you very much, Miss Tia, uh, for your inspirational uh, answer to our participants today. It's a young generation. All right, uh, Alhamdulillah, Alamin. Uh, finally, we come. Uh, wait. We come to the end of our discussion. We again would like to say thank you very much for our amazing presenter for their interesting talks and also to the audience for your active participation. Uh, so please give a big applause for our awesome speakers today. Alhamdulillah. Well, uh, we know that there is not much questions about business in COVID-19, but hopefully uh, our interest discussion today will be beneficial for everybody, uh, especially because uh, mostly our participant is a young generation. They don't own their own business and maybe they don't uh, really uh, get into the business uh, yet. So that's why the question is more about their personal or uh, how to upgrade and how to deal with the problems uh, in young generation uh, that usually happen in young generation. But still, uh, I believe that our discussion today will be beneficial for all the participants, inshallah. And uh, we pray that um, this pandemic will end soon and we can be back to our normal life. We can uh, see and meet each other personally, not only uh, via virtual seminar like uh, this, uh, uh, maybe next time we can see each other personally, inshallah. Amen. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Sahid, and thank you very much, Ms. Tia, for your inspirational Mashallah. presentation. I think it's a record. <laughs> 283 people, they were yeah. 290. Uh, this is <laughs> the biggest class I engaged. Uh, Alhamdulillah, oh, Alhamdulillah, sure. and uh, the participants is very active, so it's very, very clear that. So, uh, Sister Siri, you are you're a faculty here in this university? Uh, yes, I, I am the lecturer in from, from economic faculty in Unisula as okay. well. So, can so, you please share your email with me, taking yes. it from Dia, and then we will so, be in touch. Yeah, yeah. I need your sure, permission sure. for another meeting is going to start, so can I... Sure, sure. I will. I will give you my email. So uh, yes. after the, after this webinar, so I will yeah. contact you. I will. In, I will contact you, and I will contact you as well, Miss Tia. Maybe we can share about uh, another. And for all the participants, if uh, you want to keep in touch with uh, our speakers today, so maybe uh, we, the the host Bu Mutaharo and Miss uh, Cindy, maybe they can share the contact of our speakers today. Maybe they want to uh, discuss more about uh, this topic personally, maybe, uh, so they can still uh, uh, keep in touch with, uh, with the speaker, inshallah. Yeah. So let's pray that uh, this pandemic will end soon. 
and uh, now it's time to back to the halls. Uh, and uh, I close this webinar with Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Uh, back to Miss Mutahara and Miss Cindy. Miss Mutohara? Miss Mutohara? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, we just have technical problems. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll mention all of the committee. So, thank you so much. You had an amazing presentation. And to be honest, I just be speechless. I think most of the participants think the same. So thanks God for everything he gave to us. Everyone is unique. We are the winner in our own race. So thank you, Ibu Dia Yusuf and Dr. Sahid for sharing valuable knowledge for us. And thank you as well for Ibu Sri Sulistiyawati for leading our webinar session today. Dear participants, our next session is a photo. We will have photo session. Therefore, mm -hmm. we would like to First, all participants to turn on the camera so that we can take the pictures. We also request the speakers to turn on the camera again to have a conversation. Okay. okay. Can we start now, session? Oh, like this? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> or like this? <laughs> you can give the best pose that you can. <laughs> the best pose that you can. Okay, let's ready? take the first slide. One, yeah. Yeah. next pose. Okay, one, two, three. Thank you. Let's move to the next slide. One, two, three. Thank you. And let's have the last slide. One, two, three. Okay. Thank you very much once again for all the speakers and also the moderator. You may leave the meeting room. Let's give applause to our moderator and our speakers today. Thank you and success for all. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Miss Tia, maybe I can have your contact person. Maybe later I will ask. Yeah, I already shared also my Instagram and uh, Facebook. Oh, uh, that's good. Still please to uh, discuss later with. All yeah, of exactly. Uh, and uh, Dr. Sahid actually uh, he already left the meeting. Yeah. So maybe I can uh, email him later. Thank you very much, uh, Miss Mutahara, Miss Tia, and uh, Mbak Cindy. Mm -hmm. So everyone, I just read the chat that one group want to sing the yell. Everyone missed the yell. <laughs> you already missed the yell. Okay. Which group that want to sing the yell? Three. Group three. Oh, group, group three. three. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm ready to watch. <laughs> group three, okay, could you please turn on the camera? Group three, all the group three members. Okay. <laughs> wow, so beautiful. And then, <laughs> where is your friend? Where is your friend? Mardia, where are you? Okay, so uh, did you guys practice the yell last night <laughs> so that you want to perform the yell in front of? All of us. <laughs> My cam broke. Oh, so. Oh, I don't know why. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but the mic. <laughs> Would you please, Ria, Risa, Ria, where are you? Risa. Risa. Okay. Aina, maybe you can Risa is on YouTube. The microphone, if your camera is broken. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll just start now. The yell. Marja, are you ready? 
Yes, I am. Wow. <laughs> I am the member in group three. Ready? One, Ready, two, three. Let's start. ELC, 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 ELC Unisular. ELC, ELC, ELC. We are, we are entrepreneur. We are leader. We are community server. E L C C. Malisa, Malisa. Yes. Why you didn't sing the yell? <laughs> I don't I don't remember the the yell. Oh yeah. So you have to listen the yell from your friend? Yes. <laughs> you. Can you repeat last? Pardon? No need to repeat. Oh no need to repeat. Okay. <laughs> oh I just want to I'm, I'm just accompany Mardia. Oh, Madi Madia. Okay, Madia is from UITM, isn't yes. it? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Malisa and Madia. Thank My you, pleasure. group. Three. Okay. And we will have game okay. as usual. Again. Okay. Game as usual. Are you guys interested for the game before we close today's agenda? Are you guys interested for the game? <laughs> yes. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Thank Baby. you. Baby? Really? <laughs> My God. Okay. Yeah. Our game today is Pictionary. So in this game, we will have a picture. I think it's the same with the previous game, but the but you need to guess the picture. It's about the film. The picture is about the film. So you have to guide. You have to guess the picture. What film is it? Mm, I see. Maybe we can ask one of the participants while the committee is preparing the picture. The picture. Uh, maybe for Jenna. Jenna, are you there? Hey, Jenna from UITM. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Do you like watching movie? Yeah. What is your favorite movie? Um, everything is everything. Everything is everything. Oh, everything, is everything. It's about uh, scientists. It's about it's about a scientist life journey. Oh, I see. Everything line is a bit slow for me, but it's okay. A bit slow. Yeah, the journey, the journey of the movie is quite slow. Oh, I see. But everything is everything. It, it has a happy ending or unhappy ending? Uh, it's unhappy ending, I guess. Oh, I don't ending. like it. <laughs> Do you so like the scientist at last? Um, ending. I don't like it. Happy ending. She should, is, uh, no, it... sad ending, I think. Oh, unhappy ending. I see. Mm. Everything is everything. Thank you for recommending. But I'm afraid if I watch it, I, I cannot sleep because it has unhappy ending. <laughs> Thank you, Jenna. Okay. So let's start the game. Uh, the committee will draw you the picture. Yeah, we'll draw the picture for you and guess the title of the movie, okay? I also don't know the answer. So yeah, <laughs> let's play it together. Okay. okay, we hope that the committee can draw very well. <laughs> Okay. Titanic. 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 Please. Uh -huh. Titanic. It's wonderful. It's a ship, and then you guess Titanic. Wonderful. Oh my God. Titanic. Oh, Titanic. 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 Oh, correct. Yeah, correct. Right. It's Titanic. Okay, let's go to the next movie. I also like Titanic, but it has an unhappy ending. So I just like it, but not really like it. <laughs> okay, next movie. Can you five get five feet apart? Pardon? Oh, five feet apart. Five feet apart. <laughs> oh my God! You are correct again. Five feet apart. Who's, who? Who answered that? Who answered five feet apart? Five feet apart. Okay, I guess. Oh, Jenna. Jenna, okay, five feet apart. 
could you please tell us a little bit about Five Feet Apart? What kind of movie is it? Is it romance movie or family? I'm not, I'm not watch the uh, movie until the end because it's kind of common storyline, which is that um, both lovers are sick uh, and then they want to happy themselves and do something to make them happy and so on. Mm, I see. You know many things about the film, I think. No, I, I... Okay. okay. <laughs> okay, because maybe watching movies is one of your hobbies, maybe. Okay, let's go to the next picture. Can we see all the participants? What is it? Frozen. Oh Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Oh you look like. <laughs> I guess that you you guys have special skill. Maybe six sense. Do you, uh, do you have a six sense? <laughs> Harry Potter is it correct? Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, correct. So Harry Potter is a man with a broom. Okay. I just so say for for the picture. Harry Potter. I see. Okay. Next picture, please. It's home. Do it. Up. 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 Okay. Up, up. <laughs> yeah. To answer up just now. To answer up. Oh, Panani, I, I, I think you answered up. No, not me. Yeah, it's up. <laughs> yeah, it's up. Up. Maybe I will. I'm going to ask uh, Hijer. Hijer. From six, group 16. Hi, Hijer. Hijer, can you hear me? Hi, Hijer. Hijer from Unisola. Group 16. Oh, yeah, no, it's UITM. Oh, UITM. Sorry. Hijer from UITM. Can you hear me? Okay. I think she has technical. Oh. I think already turned on his, her microphone. Hi, Hijer. Hi, Hijer. Can oh. you hear us? Or oh, maybe Hijer has technical problem. Okay, let's move to the next picture. Please. Upside down. Upside down. <laughs> up, upside down. Why are you answering so fast? <laughs> upside down. Is it correct? Upside down? <laughs> what? And it's is. correct. I'm Who going answered? to ask this one from UITM. Is uh, uh, here? Maybe is there. <laughs> We don't know the name. <laughs> no. Okay. Upside down. It's okay, Hajar. I know you have a problem. <laughs> and Thank then, you. shall we go to the next picture? Yeah. Okay, next picture, please. <laughs> Next picture. Next picture. A. Next picture. <laughs> Maybe the comedy <laughs> is <laughs> confusing. <laughs> How to draw. Frozen. Frozen. What? What? What is it? Who frozen. answered? Frozen. Frozen. Then, answered frozen. Malisa. 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 Is it frozen? Spiderman. Is it frozen? Oh no, no. it's not frozen, no, Malisa. Well, ever okay. the red. 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 Brief, brief, brief. Pardon? And men. And men. And men. And men. And men. It's not ant. It's not an ant. No, no, it's not ant men. It's rambutan. Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Yes. Aina! Aina! ATM. You're correct! It's Spider-Man! Where is the spider? 
Could you please show show me at least show me where is the spider? I cannot see the spider. Maybe okay. Aina, oh, you like the spider hair? Huh? I think it's eight. <laughs> Aina, are you there? Aina, Aina, where are you? Okay, it's okay. Aina, no, no, no. Aina from uh, Aina from the ATM, but it's from group twenty three. Yeah. Okay. There is no Aina. Let's move to the next picture, please. Next picture. What is there? Um. What is it? Rock. No, it's watch air. No, watch. Uh. Oh, watch. Clock. Three o'clock. Three? <laughs> three o'clock. Three o'clock, Monica. Monica. No, it's not three o'clock. Oh, it's not three o'clock. Three a.m. Three a.m. Three a.m. Three times. Is it three times? No. Okay. Keep it up. What is it? What is that? Three hours, no three hours. Three hours? No. no. Keep guessing. Keep ask clue. What is it? TikTok. 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 Not TikTok. Three days. <laughs> three days. No. No. Three times. Three times? No. What, what, what type of time that we can see from the watch, from the clock? What time of time? Minutes. It's, it's closer. It's not three yeah, hundred. three seconds. We have three seconds. Oh. Hezzy, Hezzy. Could you please turn on your camera, Hezzy? Three seconds. I have uh, a much... memory problem, sorry. Yes, Hezzy? I have problem with my camera. Oh, it's I see. Okay. It's okay. As long as you can yeah. unmute your microphone. <laughs> okay. Have you ever watched three seconds before? No, I'm just guessing it. <laughs> oh, you just. I'm lucky. Oh, yeah. That's the definition of lucky, yeah. Lucky, yes. <laughs> like you. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite movie, Hazi? Favorite movies? Oh, yeah. actually, I I like a lot of movies. Mm, one of them just mention one of them Maybe one of your, them what's your favorite movie in 2020 2020 yeah i think in 2020 there's no movie published <laughs> because of the <laughs> <COVID. You> are <laughs> correct, you are correct. Yeah. what kind of movie that you like what kind of what kind i of think movie? it's more do you know gentleman gentleman no gentleman is about uh, uh, leadership of the person. Uh, oh, leadership. Mm. It's about leadership. Yes. yes. Mm. So I like the way but he organizes like... their, their hmm? teams. Mm, I see. Mm. Okay. Maybe I'm interested to it. To All right. Gentleman. You can try to watch it. Yeah. So you like the motivation movie, I think. Yeah, I like it. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Hezik, for sharing your favorite movie with us. Okay, Do you have another you. picture? Yeah. Okay, okay, still we have another picture. One more picture. Let's oh guess. yeah, one more. It's the last picture. A square. A square. Can Maybe you find SpongeBob SquarePants? <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants. No. Maze The maze. 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 Oh yeah, you are correct, Miss Runner. Miss <laughs> Runner. Runner, yeah. Who yes. answered Miss Runner just now from SPC, San Pedro College, Jamalia, Jamal Trixie, Trixie. Your name is Trixie, right? No. Yeah, Jamalia <laughs> Trixie, the one that answered just now. Jamalia, yeah, it's Miss Runner. Okay, I haven't watched Miss Runner. Have you watched Miss Runner? No. <laughs> yeah. What is your favorite movie? I don't like movie, I think. Oh, you don't like movie. <laughs> I like movies. <laughs> For your information. <laughs> okay, we still have one more game. 
uh, it's also the same game that we played yesterday uh, because we saw the enthusiast of the game. Therefore, we want to repeat the game today. We will hmm. play in Kahoot. Kahoot. So just prepare your gadget to play Kahoot. the Kahoot. Yeah, the Kahoot and be the winner. But I wish that the winner will have a brave to show, to show herself. Or herself. Yeah. I also want to join the game. <laughs> <laughs> what topic? Flex? Okay. It's about flex. Flex. Oh, flex. I see. It's about countries. Flex countries. Are you ready? Maybe I'm going to have a talk with... Wait. Oh, it's already. Just type www.kahoot.it and input the game pin. The game pin is 8175230. Okay, we have nine guys. Naner, Chantika. Oh, nice guy. Sorry. Exo Sarang Haja. Oh. And then Princess. And then there is a name with Indian alphabet. And then WKWK. Okay. Wak, wak. Sad boy. Oh, so sad that we have sad boy here. Don't be sad. We are having fun here. Choi San. Tarik sis. Semongko. <laughs> we have Tarik sis. <laughs> we have Odading and o Semongko also. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we have Jimini. Snow White, Sultan Agung, what a dedication to your university. You give Sultan, you use Sultan Agung as your name. Mutahara fans. Oh my god, I am fan here. Yeah. If, if it is your student, I suggest... No, I think it's a committee. <laughs> oh really? If it is your student, I suggest you to remember the name. Love Mutahara, thank you. <laughs> Okay, guys, well, there is no Cindy fan. Please write Cindy fan after this. Anyone? Cindy fan, please. <laughs> My name is Cindy, C I N D Y. You can write. <laughs> okay, there are 79, baby. White Miss. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Please kindly uh, give us your give me your real name. I will give you something. <laughs> Cindy Span. <laughs> your crush. Okay, how many participants that we that we wait? Maybe we can limit the participant up to 90, yeah. 90 participants. Okay, until 90 participants. Two more. Two more participants. And one more. And okay. Stop. stop. Let's start. Let's start the game. I joined the game, but I haven't input the name. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't don't give us the answer. Yeah, don't give us the answer. Your friend can cheat. <laughs> what what like, what like <clears throat> is this? What country is this? <laughs> A. Okay, Columbia. it's Colombia. <laughs> Colombia. There are 41 who are correct. Next. Next difficult question for us. Colombia. Solanum Melongena. Solanum Melongena. Wow, it's a You're difficult name. <laughs> and then, next question. What country is this? It's... So Indonesia, oh my God, it's not Indonesia. <laughs> I 
Okay. Yes. Sweden. 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 Oh, selenium still. Selenium kalah. Selenium still the number one. <laughs> and then <laughs> next. What country is this? Oh, I know. I think you guys know it. Yay. China. There is one person who answered. <laughs> Denmark. <laughs> Denmark. Okay. Yeah. Selenium. Still the first. Okay. Next question. Blue and red. What is it? Blue and white. Red. Blue and red. Oh, sorry. <laughs> white. I don't box. see the white one. We have white. White on the top. And red. White, blue, and red. What is it? Don't give the answer. Okay. XP1. Yeah. It's. Russia, Russia. Uh, Jenny, Jenny is approaching to number one. What country is this? Oh, I see. I, I think I know. <laughs> maybe you have visited there. <laughs> yeah, maybe you, you have visited this country. But I didn't visit the flag. <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't visit the flag. <laughs> yeah, there's no one visit the flag. <laughs> yeah, it's Australia. Also, you haven't <laughs> Australia. Correct. Yes. Okay. Number six. We still have 15. Not 15. China, Vietnam. Kazakhstan, Panama, which, what country is this? What country? What country is this? Four, three, two, one, and go. It's Vietnam. Vietnam, there are five who answered China. Okay, number one is still Solanum Melongena. Panama, which, what country is this? What country? Next, what, what is country it? is this? Is that my voice? <laughs> no. <laughs> what country is this? Four, three, two, one, and go. That was my it's voice. Vietnam. What Vietnam. Did I fight to answer China? Okay, number one is still Solan Lung. Okay. Alhamdulillah, no problem. <laughs> my voice is not. Okay, it's Jamaica. Solano Melongena is still number one. I I hope that I can see him. What country is this? Green, yellow, black, yellow, blue. Egypt, Jamaica, Costa Rica, or Tanzania. What country is this? What country? Going to see you. Oh, so most of you do not turn on the camera. Tanzania. Tanzania. <clears throat> oh, the correct answer is Tanzania. Still Solanium. What country is this? Oh, I see. Nepal, India, Norway, Ireland.
What country is this? Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. And it's India. Yeah, correct. Do you like Bollywood movie? Yeah. <laughs> But I don't, don't like movies. I don't really like, like it, but I, I just I just enjoy to watch it. <laughs> and number 10. What country is this? Black, red, yellow, USA, Germany, Slovakia, or Austria? What country is this? White country. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's Germany. Germany. Okay. Five more questions. Five more questions. Okay. Is it Israel, Japan, Jewish, or Democratic Republic of the Congo? Congo. Congo. What is it? Blue, white. Blue, white. And the star in the center. The star in the center. It's Israel. Yeah, Israel. Okay. Number 12. Number 12. What is like Norway, Greenland, Iceland, or Poland? Which what country is this? What country is this? Let's see who is the most genius in this game. Genius. Iceland. Oh no, because <laughs> you are unbeaten. Yes, yeah, so no when one you... can beat you. What country is this? The 13th question. Oh, I see. Korea, Taiwan, Japan, South Korea. What country is this? Wow, it's very fast. Okay, so it, oh, this is South Korea. Jungko comes from <laughs> South Korea. <laughs> selenium, well, finally. Uh, after ego, maybe selenium is not a K-pop K-pop fan. <laughs> <laughs> what country is this? Oh, Congo, Sudan, Algeria, South Africa. I think I knew. Don't forget to fill your attendance list today. Oh, uh, it's South Africa. The last question. Let's see the last question. The last question. Let's see yeah. who's the, the most I genius in this, in this game. White, I mean red, white, and blue. Russia, Netherlands, France, Chile. Chile. Hey. Seventy three, seventy four, five, four, three, two, one. Stop and host the winner is Netherlands. No, the <laughs> answer is Netherlands. <laughs> the winner is I mean. <laughs> nice guy, <laughs> Rizani, and. Alter ego, ego. Uh, RQ. Oh my God, so long. Alter ego, could you please 
show your self <laughs> alter ego. You know, alter is usually we call account alter. So alter is something that is fake. You know, fake account. <laughs> Other account means fake account. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Maybe I hope that alter here is not fake. Alter ego. <laughs> Could you please show yourself? No. Okay. Re reason me. Reason me. Maybe. Reason me. There is no reason me here. Okay. You are very genius. So you are so shy. <laughs> to show yourself to us. Okay. Uh, I see. We can we see all the participants rank, Miss Ayin? No. Okay, wait. We will show you the full, the full rank, so that I can talk. To you. Yeah, I. No, it's your sound. Oh, I see. Okay, I and I ain't on the camera. <laughs> I is a knee. Oh, I hey, Iman. Iman from UADM City. Could you please unmute your microphone? Iman. Yes. Iman. Yeah, Iman. What about the camera? Could you please turn on the camera? <laughs> oh, wait. Uh. Oh, wait. Okay, I cannot wait to see you. Yeah, hi, hi Iman. Hi. Oh, reason me. Reason yeah, yeah. Reason me. Okay. What do you use reason me as your name? <laughs> uh, is uh, right. It's actually Ryzen. Ryzen is one of pro player for PUBG Mobile for Indonesia. Oh, I, I see. Uh, Ryzen. Ryzen. It's a yeah, pro Ryzen. player of PUBG from Mobile, Indonesia. Uh, from Indonesia. Oh, I see. Ryzen. Oh, so you are a gamer. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, have you ever visited one of the countries that we have in the quiz? Oh, uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Mm. Do you ever uh, go to overseas before? Uh, just going to Singapore. Oh, Singapore. Singapore. Your neighbor country. <laughs> yeah, next country. I see, Iman. Okay, and do you have any plan to visit Indonesia one day? Yeah, I want to visit to Bali. Mm, Bali, yeah. Anyway, from what faculty are you? Uh, I'm from Customer Service Management. Business and Management. Customer Service Management. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My ear. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Customer okay. Service and Management. Yeah. Okay, Iwan. Congratulations for being the second winner. All right, thank you. Yeah, and uh, the, the awards first. for you is an applause. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Iman. Okay. Okay, we have the full rank here. The full rank. Okay, maybe you can check yourself. Should, should we call one more participant? Hmm. Yeah. I think so. You are, you are the first in the the beginning of the quiz, but you are now in nine rank. Solenum, yeah, but Solenum. Solenum, could you please show yourself? Solenum, maybe Solenum is shy. That's <laughs> why she, use, she uses so Solenum as her name. <laughs> okay, thank you for joining us in Kahoot today. And uh, I we, we think that it's almost our closing time time yeah it's already 12 o'clock we would like to remind you don't forget to submit your assignment by 12 uh, indonesian time 12 o'clock indonesian time okay by 12 o'clock 15 minutes indonesian time don't forget to submit your assignment in pdf format and send to our email okay we believe that your buddies already told you our email and also the deadline and also the time so make sure that you submit it and tomorrow we will know who is the winner of ELC 2021 so that's all for today mm -hmm. and yes. after this uh, you will have, have a virtual coffee hour with your buddies your buddies will approach you one by one and you will